this living life in lack and insufficiency when he shed his blood so that you can walk free from lack and insufficiency you check yourself don't you dare put up with poverty and lack and insufficiency you plead the blood over your bank account you plead the blood over your job you plead the blood shed his blood so that I don't have to live in curse. Poverty is a curse. But the crown released the blood to deliver me from that curse of poverty. Poverty doesn't make you more thankful. Poverty is designed to destroy you, the Bible says. The blessing is available. The blood has made it so. And I, my last scripture, where, where am I about? I am uh, 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 Romans. We ain't going to get to Luke. Romans. <laughs> yeah, I want to go to Luke. We ain't getting to Luke. Luke. We won't see Luke tonight, man. Unless, <laughs> unless you go watch the rifle, man. Well. We ain't going to see Luke. Now, I said all of that the way I said all of that so I can say this. Amen. Amen. Show you what we've been doing, man. We've broken ground in India, building three orphanages, taking those kids out of the street, giving them shelter and water and clothes and books and schools. Yeah. I'm on my way to Liberia in November where the Civil War tore families apart. Children don't, their parents are dead. And they had them under a little picnic thing.